In this video, we're going to create a very simple overlapping line, making sure it's on top of the bar and we make it bounce. So we start from this point, we go down here and then we go to the very end. So let's start to look how we can do this with charges. So how to draw a simple overlapping line in a bar chart in chart.js. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to get a border template, which you can find here on chart.js 3com getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code here. Copy this and if you want to understand this code, please watch this video here that explains it all. Paste it in there and then I'll add up this in here, save, refresh. Let's maximize the size of the bar chart. 80%, save, refresh. All right, so now we have this here and we want to just draw a simple line going from one point, bounce down and then going up somewhere, hitting one of these points here. So how do we do this? Well, let's scroll down here. We go to say here, after the skills, um, sorry, not in there, but after the options, we're going to say plugins because we're going to create a custom plugin. And let's call this our trend line, although it's not really a trend line. So I'll just give this the name, but of course you can give it anything you want. So then I'm going to say here, slash slash this uh, plugin block and say constant trend line equals. And then here I'm going to say ID will be trend line as well. So make sure that this is consistent for later on. This will be important. And then when would we like to draw the lines? Well, we want to draw the lines after we have drawn the bar chart so that the line will be on top of the bar instead of being behind the bar. This is very important. So we're going to say here, after data sets draw. So we draw the data sets first and then we draw our custom trend line. Then we're going to say a chart arcs plugin options then i'm going to say here a object destructuring if you don't understand what this is in the description box there is a video video link uh, with the name understanding chart as object destructuring very important so i'm going to say here, equals this to the chart object and i'm going to say here ctx comma and I'm going to say here the drawing, uh, let's see here, the chart area, that's the one we need. If you don't understand the chart area, again, in the link or in the description box, there's a link on the setting chart area for chart chairs. Very useful as well to know. Top, bottom, left, right, and then we have width, height. Once we have this, we we'll say here comma, and we can say here the scales, and I want to have the X and Y scale. We might not use all, but we can always remove them afterwards. So then, what I'm going to do here, CTX, let's save, to save all variables above. Next, what we're going to do, and this is very important, CTX.begin path. And what this does is basically avoid that any of our lines and colors will bleed over to any other shapes. This is very important because if you will see these colors somewhere else, it means that you didn't use this begin path and it's bleeding over to other shapes. All right, next what I want to do is I want to draw a line and to draw a line, I'm going to say a CTX that move to. Here we need to put in X coordinates and a Y coordinates. And in our case, I'm going to use here the left so I want to start at this very end here, and I'm going, oh, sorry, not at this very end, but this very beginning. So left, and then what would be the Y position? The Y position would define the horizontal, sorry, the vertical level, and I want to start at 18, so at this point here. So how do we do this? We're going to use a built-in chart.js command that we can use. We say y dot get pixel four value and then the value would be number 18 in this case so once we have this we're going to say ctx dot align to to draw the line or basically this is here the pencil where we want to start and then we're going to say where are we going to draw the line and this is a intention too so it doesn't draw yet i'm going to explain later on uh let's say we want to just move it from one side to the other side let's say to this point here which is 
basically the zero line and this would be the right side or we could use even the bottom line it's one or the other so in this case i'm going to say here the right side comma bottom so i'll just use that one once we did this we're going to say ctx that stroke and that is basically the command to draw the line there we are so now you can see it's nicely overlapping here but of course what i want to i want to bounce it going here there and up and let me just show you as you can see we're starting here but we could also do this. If I grab this and put it in here, I'm going to say X, but then I'm going to get index number zero, which is basically Monday. If I do this, save, it will not start at this beginning. You will see it will start here above. Why? Because the Monday is basically the center here. It calculates based on the center and not from this end. So if you want from end to end a line, we cannot use this, we need to use left. To, and the other side would be right. So the next thing what I want to do is I want to now start to draw another line here, or at least I want to have it bouncing. So let me just save this first, refresh. You can see we have it back to original. And what I want to do is I want to bounce a Thursday here. So this is index number. This is zero for Monday. So one, two, three. Index number three on the x axis. So what I'm going to do here. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab this part, put it in there, say index number three, and then this was the value of zero. So if I save this now, and this should be not move to, but line to, say, refresh, there we are, we get now something, but of course, I guess this is not really what I desire. Uh, I get pixel four, value number three, and now value number three is supposed to be here, so I'm surprised of this movement, but that's all right. We're going to check on this. So, uh, oh, of course, my bad. This should be X, of course, because we're focusing on the X axis or else you have this weird shape. So now we are here and then what we want to do is we want to bounce it up and let's say this is number nine. So we want to hit here number nine at the end. So how do we do that? Well, basically left and then to the right and then here, you can just grab this, put it in here, say your number nine, save, refresh. So now we did this and let's do something a bit more advanced. What about if you want to have a thicker line and I want to have some colors, but I want to do it like a plugin style. And this is why this becomes very important, the ID and the plugin options. So what we're going to do here is first of all, we're going to say CTX dot line width equals number three. If I save this, refresh, you can see here we have a thicker line. Next, what I want to do is a CTX dot, um, uh, what is that, the stroke style to define the color. And I'm going to use your gray, the British gray with an alpha. Say, uh, save that, refresh, and now we have this nice gray with the A for alpha. All right, so this works. However, what I want to do now is I want that we can do it within here. So how can we do that? Well, we have this trend line, and this is basically the reason why we have this trend line name here and the plugin options. This become very important. This ID is basically here now. After the skills, we say comma, we're going to create another plugins, but this plugins will also have now the trend line. So don't get confused with this and this. These are different ones. When hidden here, we can say here, line width or we can even say anything else line thickness so it doesn't matter what you give it here and we could say here for example five comma and then the next what we can do is the color and let's say here just color although i would say you maybe line color would be more descriptive item like this here this this stroke style i guess it should be can be line color and this can be anything you want to name it as long as you understand what you're doing here and how you can connect them so once we do this if i save this or let's make this blue you'll see it will not work yet as you can see it's still gray and the thickness is probably still along three pixels instead of five or let's make this ten so you will see it instantly so how do we connect this then well basically if we have this id so we told the plugin that this is the id reference so if you have this plugin options, this is basically telling us to search within this plugins here 
look for the ID, whatever the ID is, which is trend line, and then use that as the value so you will understand then how we can grab these numbers. So what I want to do is, instead of this number three, I'm going to put in here plugin options, say dot, and then grab here the line thickness as our object or namespace. So if I save this now and then refresh, you can see this works nicely. All right. So the next thing what I can do is for the color, you can just grab this, replace it here with the line color object or namespace. Save that, refresh, and there we are. And that is basically how we can do it. Let's convert it back to gray with British style. And then let's say five pixels is more than enough. Save that, refresh, and there we have a very, very simple line that will go from up bounces down and go up here to the other side and of course you could go anywhere with the line and that's basically it so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to do something far more interesting we have this wonderful video here how to create an arbitrary line with text box in charges where you create text create color a rectangle here a line and of course a nice background here highly recommend it if you want to go more advanced with drawing lines and background color shapes.